Good morning and happy Friday. We've made it almost to the weekend. Today is Friday, April 17th, and let's talk about our assignments for today. So go ahead and do your morning check-in, please. I have um, put a read aloud up. Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Um, you are going to get a preview of this because Dr. Steinman is going to be releasing this for all of our Loma Vista Cougars eventually, so um, you guys are going to be lucky and get to hear it um, before everyone else, hopefully, unless she releases it um, earlier. <laughs> Readers workshop today, so today's Friday. I want you to reflect on your weekly reading by writing a book reflection, sharing your favorite part of your favorite book that you've read this week. So what was the best thing that you read this week? You're going to write your title at the top, and then in that little rectangle at the bottom, what was your very favorite part of your book this week? Your very favorite book and your very favorite part. You can draw, you can write. If you're on Seesaw, you can record your voice and maybe take a picture of um, your book. You can be as creative as you'd like and submit it any way that you are comfortable doing. Okay, just record your reading, get onto Lexi at some point. Writer's workshop, you're gonna be looking back at the paragraph that you wrote this week. You're gonna be using this checklist to see that you have included all of these important parts of your opinion paragraph. Um, either say yes, that you've completed that, or no, you have not. And go ahead and go back and reread the paragraph that you wrote this week and try to edit it. You know, make it longer, make it stronger, add some good um, keywords in there. Try to convince your reader to agree with your opinion. Our math warm-up today is another which one doesn't belong, but instead of numbers, we are going to be doing um, shapes. You can see a basketball and a soccer ball, a baseball, and then a cube. And um, which one doesn't belong? Again, try to be creative, challenge yourself a little bit. How many different ways can you think of for one of these um, items not to belong to the set um, with the others? Today, we're gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna have you do a counting collection. I know we've done this a million times at school, but today you get to have some fun in your house. So find something of a collection in your house. Maybe it's your toys, maybe it's beans, buttons, coins, anything you can find at all that is a collection at home. Maybe it's Pokemon cards, I don't know. Um, estimate how many items are in your collection before you count. Count your collection in an efficient way. Remember at school, maybe you're gonna count by fives or tens or twos, whatever you feel would be most efficient. We're not gonna count them one by one. And then I want you to show how you count it. So take a picture, draw it out. Um, you have room on the next two slides to show that. You can record your voice on Seesaw, explaining how you counted. Um, again, any creative way that you want to share your work would be just fine. And then at the very end, was your estimate reasonable or unreasonable? So, you know, if, if your collection comes up to 104 and your estimate was three, that would be very silly, wouldn't it? That'd be unreasonable. But if your collection was 103 and you you know, you estimated, let's say you estimated around 85, that's pretty reasonable, you're pretty close. So tell me what you, what collection you counted, estimate before you begin to work, you have workspace on the next two slides, and then my estimate was reasonable or unreasonable and why. As always, freckle is more um, another option. Talking about more pollinators again, honeybees and I know we had a bee in our classroom um, before a break, but bees are really important to our environment as well. So go ahead and read, read up a little bit on um, the honeybees and see why they're important. I'm sure that you know that they, they make honey. And if you like honey, I'm sure that's important to you, but they also help plants. And it's really, really important um, what they do and how they really help. Um, we really depend on, on bees. Two facts that you learned about bees and one opinion that you have about bees. Opinion is something that you think or believe. It does not matter if it's true, it's your own opinion. And then we're gonna end our uh, Friday with an optional art lesson. This is a shark, 
But the cool thing is when you open it up, it becomes a shark folding puppet. So maybe you want to give that a shot today. Again, it's optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but if you uh, want to give it a, give it a go. And if you do do it and it looks really cool, take a picture of it and uh, email it to me or dojo it to me. I'd love to see some of your artwork. And don't forget to clean up guys. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll check back in on Monday.